you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below so you're alerted every time I post a new video. Today I'm doing a little bit more sit down, chill, let's chat style instead of let's vlog style. Cool? <laughs> I haven't done one of these videos in a hot minute and I thought it'd be fun to sit down and chat with you guys about things I'm loving right now. I love making these videos, I love watching these videos, and I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Hair is completely natural, a little air shower dry, no makeup on, I just put on a little lip gloss. I just, when I get like sun on my face or if I start to get a little bit of sunburn, I do not like to put makeup on it. I just find that it makes it look worse or I don't know, I just like the natural look, like the sun, sun kissed look. I'm gonna get started with this video, I'm just gonna be talking about things that I I've been loving right now. It felt kind of weird to make this video for a while because I didn't want to like promote anyone to buy anything necessarily. I, I don't really know, but these are just things that have gotten me through the last few months, things I'm loving, things I've discovered recently, things I've been wearing or using for a while, just kind of all over the place. So I'll have everything linked down below. This video is not sponsored. And yeah, it's just gonna be fun. And we're just gonna chat and I'm gonna talk to you guys about some things I'm loving. I'm so excited because I've learned about so many black owned businesses lately that I had never heard of, which is so messed up. And now there are so many on my radar and I'm so happy about that. But I came across this online store called Lorelli. Lure, I'll have it linked down below. And they had this tank top that I have been looking for everywhere. Everywhere I looked, it's sold out. It's basically this ribbed crop top with like, um, a raw hemline on the bottom so it's not like it just looks like it was cut it is so cute on you guys I cannot stop wearing it it is just perfect it's like the perfect summer tee to wear with like high-waisted jeans and they have a ton of other stuff on their website as well so I'll have it linked down below so you guys can check out their stuff but I was trying to you know figure out just small ways to support the movement and this was just one cool thing to do and I learned about a new store along the way so definitely check it out I love this top it's awesome I'm gonna stick with the clothing I cannot stop wearing a biker shorts you guys not even at this point because they are trendy like yeah they're trendy and they look cool honestly it's just so hot in Florida right now that I can't even get myself to wear leggings half the time because they are just so hot especially I've been working out in my gym downstairs like in our garage so it's very very hot we just got like this big fan but it still just doesn't do the trick I mean it's just hot and humid here but you can't just like spin with like Nike shorts on you just can't do it I've been wearing biker shorts a lot and I also just like them for style also they just look great with like that crop tank that I showed you guys it's just such a great look and again it keeps you nice and cool um so yeah a lot of you guys asked about this pair specifically so i thought i'd show them but i'm honestly just loving biker shorts as a whole trendy and also just functional when it's hot outside so i want to get some more so if you guys can comment down below where you get your favorite biker shorts i'm looking for like ones for fashion and then also ones that you can like work out in because there's like different materials like these you yeah, I guess you could work out in them. I've been wearing them more on a fashion basis because they're like this really cool um, material, but they're really great quality. I got them off of Bandier, Bandier.com. I'll link this pair down below um, along with some others that I really have been loving right now, but they're just so great and they're so flattering and they just are the best. And some people don't like bike shorts and that's okay. Like honestly, half the time I look at myself, I think I look silly, but they just, they're comfortable, they're functional, it's hot outside, like, there's just so many things I love them for, so. Yay, biker shorts. My last clothing item are these shorts. I've been wearing them nonstop. They're coming out in like a nude color and I really wanna get them. They were like on pre-order, so I'm waiting for them to like actually be available, but these are awesome. They are from the brand Retro Feet. I got them off of Revolve. I got these off Revolve. They're seriously the best. I love the cut of them. They are great if you have like a smaller waist but a bigger butt. They fit really well. I'm a size, of course they don't say I'm on here. Oh yeah, they do. I'm a size 28 in this short. So if you think we have similar sizes, get you a 28. Um, and they just fit great. You know, they're definitely a little bit of a booty. You know, you do see the booty a little bit. But they're great for if you just want to like put it over like your bathing suit and you're going to the beach or if you're just sitting by the pool or I'll wear it with like a tank top or something. Like you can go out in public in these. Like they're not like booty booty but they do have a little they're cheeky they're cheeky that's the word i was looking for but they are so cute and i just really like the uniqueness of them like the detailing is so cool um and i love the frayed ends so i've been wearing these non-stop and posting them on instagram oh there's a stain on the back because i haven't washed these if you follow me on instagram this should come as no surprise to you or honestly on youtube you've probably seen me wear these a lot these sneakers you guys i pray that they're available somewhere online so i can link them for you guys down below 
Last I saw they were available, so let's just go with it. These are the Adidas Falcon sneakers. I cannot stop wearing them. Let me tell you guys, I got these like last year, maybe even a year and a half ago when I was like thinking about getting the Balenciaga sneakers, but I didn't really know if I liked that vibe. I got these and I just never wore them. I don't know why. And I, I don't know why. And then when I was home for like quarantine in like March, when it all first started, I just started wearing these and then I just couldn't stop wearing them. They're so comfortable, yet they're so trendy. Like I feel like I can like wear them if I'm going on a walk or a bike ride, but then I'll also wear them with like joggers and like a tank or sneakers even. I've been wearing with them or sneakers. I've been wearing them with jeans a lot. They're so cool and trendy. They're the Adidas Falcon sneakers. I love them. They're not like super chunky. Like they're not like super obnoxious, like platform or anything. Honestly, not at all. But for some reason, they're super flattering. They go with everything. Mine are kind of dirty at this point, but I can't stop wearing them. I, I just love wearing them. They look good with everything. And I just can't say enough good things about those sneakers. All right, we got all kinds of products I wanna to talk to you guys about. First up, the lip gloss I have on right now. I've been back on my Fenty Beauty grind. This is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in Fenty Glow. There are these gloss bombs. And I think this is just like the original, just the light pink one. I also have like the red one. I got like the holiday set when it came out. And this lip gloss just makes me so happy. I just love how big the um, applicator is, honestly. It's very enjoyable to put on. It smells good and it's just like a great, I think it's great for the summer. I really like it because I haven't been wearing as much makeup. And if I do, I've been just putting like on under eye concealer and like covering any blemishes, a little powder in the T-zone, a little highlight and this, it's just been such a look and I've been loving it. Next up, this pops up in my favorites every now and then, but I'm back on the grind. This is the uh, Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum. I swear you guys, I don't know what it is about this stuff. It just works. I like didn't repurchase for a while and then I was like, wait, let me buy that again. And I bought it again. It definitely makes a difference. So I put this on at night after I wash my face and everything. It's a little tingly, but it feels good. It feels like it's doing something. Then you wake up the next morning. Your skin is super soft. It's firm. It just, it feels good. Basically, this is what it says because I don't want to butcher it. A high-tech AHA BHA gel that resurfaces dull congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells, dramatically improving the appearance of skin skin tone, texture, fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. The result is the look of greater clarity and luminosity practically overnight. And it really is. Like I, if I put this on, I am guaranteed the next morning I'm gonna like feel good about myself in the, in the skin department. So love this stuff. Next up, this is the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. Brooke was the one who kept hyping this up to me. So I finally got like a mini version of it. I love this mask. It actually <laughs> smells like fireball. So it's a little triggering when you put it on. You're like, oh my gosh, like, brings you back. <laughs> However, we love it. I love it. I mainly, I don't always use it all over my face. It's just one on those days when my skin just needs some extra exfoliation, just a need, an extra little bit of TLC, you know? So you put this on and part of like the process is by like rubbing it on your face. You're kind of exfoliating and you're just massaging in circular motion. So that's already starting to work. And then you just let it sit on your skin for like 10 to 15 minutes. And it kind of looks weird. It just looks like a ton of specks on your face. And then after those 10 to 15 minutes, you just rinse off with some warm water and you're also doing the circular motions again so it's like two different exfoliations and then it's also just doing such great things and your skin feels so great recently I've been getting really dry and just kind of flaky right here I think partly because of like sun exposure and stuff like that um, so this has been really really nice when I just need a little extra boost and your skin is like super glowy after because you got rid of that dead skin speaking of Sun um, I live in Florida I'm in the Sun a lot and you gotta stay protected so one of the ways i've been doing that is on my lips because i got a lip sunburn and that hurts very bad it is not fun and you forget to like literally put sunscreen on your lips so i got the kula lip Lux sunscreen original lip balm i use this as lip balm sometimes just for fun but i try to save it for just when i know i'm going to be out in the sun it's spf 30 it's a lip balm it smells amazing. I love Kula's products in general. I love their sunscreen. My mom loves their sunscreen. Um, I actually got this off of Revolve. They have Revolve Beauty. They have a ton of products on there. So I'll link it down below for you guys. You can probably get it elsewhere as well. Another lip product, um, the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask has changed my life. This stuff is so luxurious. It's just like a lip mask. I just use it as a lip balm, honestly. Hot take, I think this is better than the Laneige Lip Mask. Like, 
by a lot it's not as sticky like when you put it on it's like nice and smooth and it just it feels good am i in focus i don't know this stuff i i don't know i don't think i'll ever purchase the laneige after this like this is just really great stuff i've been really into tatcha's products in general but this lip mask is incredible um so i'll put it on after i do all my skincare after i do the drunk elephant glycolic night serum exfoliate all the eye cream all the things i put this on last like i kind of like use it as like vaseline i just put it all over my lips i go to bed i wake up my lips just feel great or if i'm headed out the door and i want to i don't want to put on like lip gloss i'll just put a little bit of this on and it gives your lips a nice like shine but also it's super moisturizing it just feels so good last product if you will is um just rose quartz oil so my mom actually got this one for me i'm not sure where it's from but it's called sun's eye rose quartz and so it's technically like a gem scent and it says rose Rose quartz is considered to be a love drawing stone and is used to attract love and open the heart chakra. It is traditionally and magically associated with promoting peace, love, happiness, and fidelity. Um, I didn't get it for that reason. I just love the smell of rose and I have just been wearing this as my perfume. It's basically just like a little oil. I put it on my wrist. It is so potent, you guys, like you can smell it. I'll dab it on my neck. Sniff it in, it smells so good. It literally smells like those roses back there. Like it smells like rose. Like that, if you want like, forget like rose perfume, just go straight to the rose quartz oil. And this was only $8, it literally says $8.50. So I'll find some on Amazon or something and link it below for you guys to check out for yourself. But this stuff changes the game. I always get compliments when I wear it. And it's just so easy. It's just a little bottle, it's cheap. And it just smells so luxurious. It really does like bring happiness. And I feel like so loving and happy when I wear it just cause it's, I don't know, I think it does kind of inspire that in a way. I've been wearing my hair in a low buns a lot recently. I think it's just because after I get the shower, I'm trying not to use as much heat on it, especially during the summer, like why not? I'm not like getting dressed for any events right now. Um, and I don't know, for me, putting my hair in like a low bun feels chic, like I'm doing something to it and it just kind of helps tame it. Like I put my hair in a low bun, like a tight sleek bun last night, um, or not last night, like yesterday after I showered. And then before I went to bed, I just took it out and then it looked like this and I just slept on it like this, it was perfect. But you know, when you do like a, a bun or really anything to your hair, you don't want anything too like, you don't want anything grabbing at your hair too much or too abrasive. So I've been using these slip silk scrunchies. I love them, these are the mini ones. There's like a little set. I actually have an Amazon shop. I always have it linked down below in the description. And so I have everything on there listed by like skincare favorites, beauty favorites, organizational favorites, like a ton of stuff. So you guys should check that out. I recently made it so you're not like, in the you're not like out of the loop or anything i kind of just made it in the last few weeks but i do have these on there but i'll also link down below just these so you can find the quick link to them um but yeah i just love these they're mini they don't look like terribly like weird on your wrists um and then i also have a couple of the big ones as well um they're just more for like at night and stuff or like when i'm like washing my face i don't know but i have been loving these i just had to include this in the video because so many people ask me about it and i want to make sure everyone knows about it because this has really just changed my summer this is the doing well daily volume volume two um, journal. My fr a friend of a friend um, created this and I just think it's the coolest thing. And basically on each page, like I've done so many of them now, but on each page, let's go to a blank one. You've got two sides here. So we've got on this side, you just have like notes, keep going, random, just like whatever. This is what I have been using every day. It's nice because they're not dated. So like if you don't, you know, use it on the weekends, you're not like, oh my God, I just wasted two pages. It's just like on the days that you want to use it. Um, so you would write the date on the top. You say what you're grateful for. I'll usually write three different three things or if I have one longer one I want to write down. It's just so important to like recognize gratitude. It really changes the game, especially if you like rec recognize what you're grateful for like in the morning, it like seriously makes for a better day. Um, and then what is here? words to live by so i'll usually go on pinterest and find a quote that really resonates with me or if there's something that's been on my mind or a quote that i just love or a song lyric whatever i'll write it down there just to kind of reinforce it and then she also writes a personal growth like quote here every day and basically on her website she has these brush pens that you can purchase and they're like just like thicker felt pens and they're like made for like doing calligraphy. She does, she literally hand writes all of this, which is so impressive to me. This one says, have your worth recognized, which is awesome. They're just such great, like self love, self growth, self everything um, phrases. And by you just like tracing it in the morning, it is so just nice to wake up, drink my coffee, trace that. Also I have terrible handwriting, so it makes me think that I have really good handwriting. 
um, and it just puts me in such a great mood and it's like another great way to like reinforce it in your mind. And then down here we have knock it out. So that's where I write my to-do list. I've been really into um, paper to-do lists again. During the school year, I tend to do it on my computer just cause I'm moving around all the time. But now I'm like just pretty much just home in my room and I can have like a paper to-do list and keep track of it because it is so satisfying to just like mark off things you get done. Like, come on, we can all agree on that. So I'm knock it out. And then also these little water droplets are how many like cups of water you're supposed to have each day. And I sometimes track it, sometimes I forget. And then how you're gonna get moving that day. And then if you want your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what you're gonna have. So I have been loving this. It has changed the game for my summer. It's probably not something I'll use during the school year just because I just like need more organization and like I have a lot more schoolwork, but for the summer it has been awesome. And lastly, I've got to show you guys, I've been loving blue light glasses. Just any sort of blue light glasses I'm here for, I notice a difference if I am not using blue light glasses, it's crazy. They're basically blocking the blue lights that are coming from your screen, so it's like your computer, your phone, whatever, iPad. I need to wear blue light glasses because it just helps. So these are just absolutely incredible. You can get them on Amazon. I really want to get a pair of the Warby Parker blue light glasses. So updates to come on that. But um, I just love blue light glasses. They're great. I I can't say I get enough good things about them. I'm doing two online summer classes. So I'm on my computer a lot more along with editing videos and everything like that. So I just, it's definitely a necessity for me. Woo, we did it. I feel like this is a long things I'm loving right now, but there was just a lot of things I wanted to chat with you guys about. If you're not really following me on social media, follow me on TikTok. I've been really on the TikTok grind. So hype me up, okay? And then also Instagram. I'm always posting out for the days and I actually have a Black Lives Matter um, highlight on there as well from all the stories that I've been posting and just things that I want to share with you guys that people have been sharing with me, etc. Um, and yeah, follow me on Twitter if you want. I haven't really been active on Twitter though. Can't lie. <laughs> but anyways, I love you guys so much. Everything I talked about today is linked down below and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye-bye.